be very much a honorable speaker. Honorable speaker, to start with, I would like to join my fellow honorable members to express our sense of gratitude, starting with your office and then to the office of the clerk and to all the honorable ministers who have been with us since the start of this uh, ordinary session. Honorable speaker, I would like to say that everything I've written, I did throw down. Because what I wanted to talk about was about the youths, about the state of agriculture, and about the level of security. But honorable speaker, charity begins at home. We have to put this house in order. And I'm going to talk about the parliament. Why talk about agriculture? when we do not even have decorum in our own house. We have rules. We have laws. I would like to refer you to Standing Order 17, Behavior of Members. 17A is saying, all members shall enter and leave the chambers with what? Decorum. Decorum means what? Respect. An honorable member said here that respect is what reciprocal. But I think we need to tell him what is the definition of disrespect. Because if you pick a bone where it is not, at the end of the day, you will be what? Questioned. What we've witnessed in this assembly, starting from day before yesterday, till today cannot be entertained. This is not about us. The dignity of this house must be maintained. A day will come, all of us will go out through these doors, whether we like it or not, but this parliament will remain. This parliament will remain. Honorable Speaker, I will refer you to Order 18, Point of Order. I will make reference to this point to justify what the Speaker said yesterday. Point of Order. Any member deviating from these standing orders may be immediately called to order by the speaker or by any other member rising on a point of order. Deviating in English means when you go out of lane. There are rules. If you are a lawyer and a competent lawyer, these standing orders should be a piece of cake for you. So, honorable speaker, you are right to say so-called lawyers. And I will repeat it. I will repeat it. You cannot stand and disrespect the entire house because you were described what? Properly. Look, please wait. Let's forget about the age variations. Let's talk reality to each, each other. Okay? What happened in this house cannot be tolerated. Hey. And honorable speaker, at this point again, I will refer you to point 20, uh, order 20, just to justify that the speaker was in order. Order 20 said, responsibilities of the speaker for order. The speaker in the assembly and the chairperson in any committee shall be responsible for the observance of the rules of order in the assembly and committee, respectively. And his or her decision upon any point of order shall not be open to appeal and shall not be reviewed by the assembly except on a substantive motion made after notice. Members debate. Members plow the rules. They are brought to order by their fellow members or by the speaker. And here we are, confidently and boldly, opening those wounds again. Do we have respect for this house? Please, if we do not have respect for this house, let's resign honorably. There are humble Gambians out there who can come and represent their people. Rather than every day puncturing the dignity of this house. It's intolerable. This is not about the speaker in person. It's about the position he is holding. And the speaker merits it in totality. Who are we? To start in one way or the other evaluating the characters of others when our own are not in order. Honorable Speaker, normally when I'm talking out of emotions, 
I do not like to make it really lengthy. On that note, I beg to submit. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Nominated Member, Keba Lamfufana. I just want to add this. I think we should all learn to go through the standing orders. So it will help us. It's, it's, that should be our Bible and our Quran, the standing orders. It should govern us. Yes, we are, we, we are human beings. We can, we can all err, but at least we want to improve on whatever wrongs we are doing to people. That's the beauty of good life, you know? And let's, as much as possible, use less emotions. 